Now there is a correct set of tools to remove and refit these primer bulbs and if you have access to them it's best that you use them but of course the average lawnmower owner won't have them and probably won't want to fork out the cost of buying them just to change a primer bulb possibly once. So I'm going to show you a way of removing and replacing the primer bulb without these tools and all you'll need is a flat headed screwdriver. Again, it's not ideal, but it does work and I've done this many times, we just have to take extra care. All I'm doing is basically giving you an option should you wish to take it. So I'll take my carburettor and my flat headed screwdriver and I'll orientate the carburettor onto its side where you can see a little window cut out there with the wing of the primer bulb sticking out of it. And all I do is push in at this point with the screwdriver and as I push in, I push up and outwards as well. And you can see there it's popped the seal. Then I turn it round and I do exactly the same this side and pop the seal. And then I keep going from one side to the other and then lever it out and then eventually it will pull out. And there we have the primer bulb and its retainer removed. And then we take the new primer bulb and the retainer placing it in like so, making sure that the retaining wings on the retainer are in line with the window cutouts on the carburettor. And then I push down with my fingers and thumb as far down as it will go. And then I personally will gently push from one side to the other like this with my flat screwdriver. Again, just pushing it down only a little bit each time so that there's no damage caused to the retainer. And making sure that I don't slip off and create another hole in the primer bulb. Or you can place a socket over the top and push it down evenly with the socket. And you'll know when you've got down far enough because you'll feel the retaining wings click into place into the window cutouts. And then the primer bulb's fitted.